Greetings to my brothers and sisters in Christ. I pray you are all well. Thank you for coming along to this video. I'm Nicholas the Watchman here on Wednesday, September 15th, 2021. And this is the war room. <laughs> yes, um, not good news though, uh, really, because we are seeing war coming um, very swiftly. In fact, and I'm looking at RT News right now, uh, Biden to launch nuclear tech wor working group alongside UK and Australia in an apparent bid to push back against China. And this has just come out. Uh, Biden set to announce a three-way tech sharing pact with the UK and Australia, including defence sources close to the White House uh, in Politico, the website, political website Politico, uh, the countries will meet to discuss threats, including China. Biden is expected to announce a new defence pact, reportedly called the uh, AUKUS. <laughs> the A, it's spelled A U U K U S, AUKUS, whatever. Um, and involving the UK and Australia, according to the news outlet, um, which cited an unnamed White House official and a congressional staffer. It reportedly will focus on sharing information in areas like artificial intelligence, and we're, we're seeing that a lot now, the rise of AI, um, which w we know, especially in the book of Daniel, it tells us, um, about these times uh, in uh, Daniel 12, I do believe. Um, cyber security, long range strike capabilities, and even nuclear defense infrastructure. There, there's clearly a fear there of um, China becoming a great threat, although China does say that they're not going to be a strike first. Um, nation. They're purely for defence. But when you look at the way they march and um, flex their muscle, it doesn't really look that way, does it? But um, the US President is scheduled to make an important announcement regarding the strengthening of a defence alliance between the US and UK and Australia at 7am local time the Sydney Morning Herald reported uh, several high-ranking cabinet ministers were granted rare exemptions from the country's ultra-harsh lockdown in order to attend the hastily arranged meeting in the capital city of Canberra. According to sources familiar with the matter cited by the Australian media, so you're seeing two things happening here. You're seeing the lockdown in Australia happening and all this stage setting for World War Three. Let's be honest, that, that's what they're doing. They're all coming together, um, arming themselves up. Who's got the biggest rockets? Who's got the largest number of troops? This, that and the other. Um, all this while this um, pestilence is going on and it does look to me like it's keeping the people quiet while this goes on in the background so there's no uprisings or anyone to um, protest I guess but um, we we look on more on RT News uh, South Korea hails successful test of submarine launched ballistic missile after two North Korean projectiles land off Japan. Uh, it, it, it's, it's getting very close, it really is. South Korea's m military successfully trialed a new submarine launched ballistic missile in the presence of its president just hours after Pyongyang fired rockets into the sea off Japan words are failing me right now we are witnessing world war three it's it i believe it started already just not 
you know physical happening it, it is happening now you know when you look back well you none of us will remember we're not old enough to remember but if we look back in history how world war ii kind of gathered up pace and all the propaganda that that came from the nazi party and how all of it came together you you'll be forgiven for people to sleepwalk into it which is what a lot of us are doing but um all i can say is those who as uh tom hughes pastor tom hughes says those who read the newspaper know what's going on in the world those who read the bible know why <laughs> they know why it's going on but how many people read the bible back in 1935 1940 time probably a lot more than do now maybe i'd say a lot of people care a lot less now about um christianity than they do their lives their daily lives and people sleepwalk into these things and i think a lot of people did sleepwalk into it uh, back in world war ii um or the run-up to that it's, it's all a case of if we're switched on and we're noticing what's happening and i i will stand by what i said and say i do believe world war three has already started just it's still in its infancy of materializing and being realized but uh, on wednesday today uh, south korea confirmed that its military had tested a submarine launched ballistic missile near its agency of defense development in the south uh province uh, south korean president uh, moon jae-in was present for the tests which were a landmark for the country's defense program. The president's office said in a statement that the um, SLBM, the submarine launched ballistic missiles, is expected to play a major role in the country's self-defense. It's, it's just coming. Uh, it really is. It's, um, it's ready to blow. I really do believe that and we're on the edge of it we really are so pyongyang has fired two unidentified pro projectiles from its east coast into the sea of japan also according to south korea's joint chief of staff and the japanese coast guard uh, the projectiles alleged to be ballistic missiles appeared to have landed outside of japan's exclusive economic zone according to the coast guard neither japanese authorities nor the south korean military have shared additional details about the suspected launch it it is um i, I would i would understand if uh, people were rather worried but um we shouldn't be we we take strength from our lord Jesus Christ we should not have a spirit of fear we should just um, carry on spreading the gospel and spreading the truth where we can in these last days and there, there is so much news to go through in regards to um, war and all sorts of craziness going on in the world we, we we it just seems like we're all against the wall now and um it, it seems like we're, we're teetering on the edge of something and none of us have a clue what it can be it's it's just like the surprise birthday present and it's a huge birthday present and it's nobody's birthday and it's not a nice present but uh, this present could be the gift to the church of Jesus Christ the rapture can happen at any moment 
um, it's an imminent event and we must be prepared for that to happen now it, it could be any time now or next week next month next year I do pray that it's soon um, I'm seeing a lot of people getting hit in, in life in general and in, in, in life being hard for people difficult people having to knuckle down on things more and grab onto things more which is our natural reaction it really is but um, we should go to the Lord in prayer for everything and I mean everything nothing too small or too big the Lord can handle it if if it's in his interest for us to um, be blessed in such a way where he thinks it can be to our benefit into his glory then it shall be so if not then we just keep struggling on um, the Lord may bless us in another way uh, in the future maybe a bit further down the road it may not be our timing but it's uh, it's all his timing really it's got nothing to do with us which is why I'm against people who date set all these things it, there's, there's not really much point because it's not up to us it's up to the Lord in heaven who decides the fate of all of us I mean who knows if we're guaranteed tomorrow or not even if we're saved by the Lord Jesus Christ we, we could have something happen to us and any of us could pass away but um, we rejoice if that happens because whoever we lose in the body of Christ they're present with the Lord that's that's the main thing so don't worry about what's going on in the world it is um, tough it is difficult I understand that but um, I also know that I've had to struggle a bit with a few things and get to grips with a few things and it's, it's been difficult for me also um, with the platform I'm using here on YouTube nothing out of the ordinary has happened um, if it does and it comes to the point where I have to have something put on my videos that locks people out unless they can give their details over I don't want to be part of that that's not that's not fair I don't want to be a watchman for the Lord Jesus Christ and have people having to um, come to the channel and feel browbeaten just to watch my video I mean you know it's it's difficult as it is to get the word out let alone to have a veil pulled over your your channel your video or whatever so people can give over their details just to get the news they could have had the day before without having to put all those details in if you see what I mean it's, it's just an, an added extra that we don't need we, we, we just want to get the word out amen so thank you for watching this video um, a different look today I'm testing it out and if it works out well I'll change the format to this it's a bit of jiggery pokery to get it all together um, I'm not good at video editing you know they video editors and things like that they have to be really really simple for me to understand it you know I'm, I'm one of these people who loses their patience with things quite easily and oh, I, I can't be bothered just get rid of it and I used to be a musician I used to be in bands uh, I used to, if we went into a recording studio which was rarely because we never had the money we we just used to leave it to the guy in in the in the booth that you know, just twiddled all the buttons and the knobs and things and even then it, it used to go wrong I mean I don't think any of them know what they're doing and I certainly didn't know how to record my own songs I just used to get a tape recorder or phone 
and you know the, the sound quality was terrible because I didn't know how to edit the sound properly. I just wanted to record it and leave it and see what people think. But um, that's probably why I never got a record deal. But praise the Lord, I didn't because I wouldn't be here. I'd be a tool of the devil in the devil's playground, which is the music industry and the movie industry and things like that. I didn't want to get mixed up in that. And I'm, I'm happy and I rejoice that the Lord didn't put me down that road. Anyway, thank you for watching. Remember to stay in the word, stay in prayer, love one another and forgive one another as Christ Jesus loves us and has forgiven us also. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. Bye for now.